Good day everyone, I am Marcel Santos from BSN1B and for today's video, I will demonstrate the assessment for the body temperature. But first thing that we'll have to do is to assess the patient. We have to consider the clinical signs of fever, hypothermia, if the temperature is greater than 38 degrees, um, chills, shivering, feeling pain, weakness, and other factors that may, that may alter the the body temperature. Then we need to assemble the supplies and equipments I have here. Um, the thermometer. The, thermom the thermometer sheet and cover, which is not available as of this moment. Water-soluble lubricant for rectal procedure, which is not needed as of now because we will just perform the axillary, axillary test for the thermo thermometer. The disposable gloves. Then the towel for axillary temperature, which is not available as of this moment. Then the wipes or the tissue. Then you will have to introduce your name, speak with the client of what am I going to do, why it is necessary and how the client can cooperate. So hi ma'am, I am Marcel Santos, your student nurse for the day and I am here to check your body temperature. Um, I just need to check if there is a problem with your body. So if there is, um, we can prevent it as much as possible. I'll have to ask a um, few questions regarding yourself and you just need to answer it honestly. Is that a great deal, ma'am? So to verify the client's identity, you will have to ask the name and age of the patient. What is your name, Pop? Rosaline De Santos. And your age, Pop, please? 74. Thank you so much. Next, we need to always perform a hand hygiene before doing any of the procedure. It's either you wash your hands or put an alcohol as long as it is 70%. To provide for clients' privacy, you can close the curtain. Um, if the patient is changing a gown, you can ask the patient if they want you to stay or they want you to leave. And if the patient ha is the same, is the opposite sex as yours, you can ask someone with the same opposite as the as your patient to stay inside the room while you're doing the assessment, so the patient would feel comfortable. The next, we have to place the client on the appropriate position. Are you comfortable, ma'am? Yeah. Okay. Then let's clean the temp th the thermometer. Let's clean it from bulb to stem before doing the procedure. Let's put an alcohol. You have to always discard this. Then let's place the thermometer. Apply protective sheet or cover if appropriate, but it is not available for now. And if you do it rectally, you have to put a lubricant to your to the rectal thermometer. Okay. How can I put this? Kili kili po the axilla. Let's open it. Where's your kili kili, ma'am? Wait for appropriate amount of time. Two or three minutes using the oral temperature of the glass thermometer. Six to nine minutes if auxiliary. And there it there you go. Thirty-five point eight. So she's called the normal. <laughs> Electronic and tympanic thermometer will indicate that the reading is complete through a light or tone. Did remove the thermometer and the result is thirty-five point eight degrees Celsius. 
so it is normal and if it's too high or too low or inconsistent with the client's condition to check it with a thermometer known to be functionally well now we have to clean this from stem to bulb Just clean it on a circular motion Done. Lastly, we have to document the client. The, we have to document the client's finding on the client data. That's all. Thank you very much.